Hey guys, welcome. This is our 8.4 video. Let's get started. All right. Um, so first thing we are doing, there's no vocab on this one. I know, right? Finally. It's been forever. Um, we're using our basic trig ratios uh, to help us solve some interesting questions. So here's our first question. Uh, describe the relationship of angle one to the situation. So we're actually talking about two different things, angle of elevation and angle of depression. And I'm going to use this picture to demonstrate both. Okay. So to do this, we're going to make this super easy. I'm going to go ahead and use two colors. I'm going to call this uh, angle for blue, angle of elevation. And then we're going to talk about, in a different color down here, we'll use, let's do red, angle of depression. Okay, so which is which? So we're going to go ahead and highlight our picture. So angle of elevation depression are two different things, okay? So angle of elevation would be if I look straight out, I look straight out and then I'm going to elevate my eyes. So I'm going to go up. So it's going straight out, always start straight and we move upward, okay? Versus angle of depression is when I look straight out and then I depress my view down, okay? So I'm depressing it downward, and that's my angle. So when we're looking at this picture, we want to go ahead, and we always start with a perfect uh, horizontal line, and then we see what happens. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to get a blue highlighter here and draw this picture, and we are going to go and highlight our angles of elevation. So where do I see someone looking straight out, and then it goes up? Okay, so right here, angle two, this guy is looking straight out, and see how it goes up. So that's an angle of elevation. If it's going or straight out and then elevates up, okay? Uh, from right here, angle one, that looks straight out, but then it goes what? Down, so we're gonna use that as an angle of depression. So it's going as it goes down. Uh, another one here, our little guy right here, he looks straight out and then he looks at the bottom of the mountain. He looks straight out and he looks down. He depresses his view downward, so we have an angle of L, uh, depression right here. And then say someone was at the bottom of the hill and they were looking um, uh, straight out and they looked up at the guy up here, that would be an angle of elevation. Okay, so it always starts with a straight horizontal line. If we go up, elevate. If we go down, depress. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at an example or two and we'll be good. So here's an example of angle of elevation. So let's go ahead and take a look and pause it right there. So here's a guy, he looks straight out and then he, he uh, basically elevates his eyes up to the top of this windmill and we wanna find out what X is, okay? So I want you to go ahead and write down this information here. I'm gonna put myself down here and let's go ahead and solve a problem. So right now we have Mr. Googly Eyes always at this angle and actually we have this guy right here. And from the perspective of googly eyes, the X is in the opposite position, and 53 is in the adjacent position. Okay? So we have opposite and adjacent. I'm just going to move over here. All right? So if you recall, we always want to write out Sokotoa. Okay? Sokotoa. So we can go ahead and figure this out. This is not too bad. Uh, we get... Um, opposite adjacent, that's going to be TOA, so we're going to do the tangent of 56.5 equals opposite X over adjacent 53. Okay, so there it is. So to solve this, we got to get the 53 out of there, so we multiply it by 53. That cancels out. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. And hopefully you have your calculator with you. If you do, that'd be perfect. And go ahead and put this in your calculator, see what you get while I do the same. So I got my calculator with me right here. So 53 times tangent of 56.5, and we should come up with 80. X equals 80. And we want to use um, our thing here, and this is feet, so we're going to do feet 
is what x equals, okay? Now, unfortunately, that's not my answer. Let's read our problem, because I didn't actually read it. It says, suppose you stand 53 feet from a windmill, or a wind turbine, so let's use the word of 53 feet. Your angle of elevation to the hub is 56.5, so we look straight out, and then we rotate up 56 degrees. Your eye level is 5.5, so this distance here is 5.5. Approximately how tall is the turbine from the ground to the hub? Well, we found x to be about 80. So that means 80 plus 5.5 is our final answer. So what? how tall is it? It's going to be about 85.5 feet. So we have to use the context to get our final answer here. So x was 80, but we had to include it. This guy's about 5'5", five five, all the way up to his eyeballs when he was looking straight out and then he elevated it up, okay? Let's look at another one. That's a great problem uh, for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at this next problem. And this will be our last one. All right, so to approach runway 17 of the, I have no idea, Pontiac City Municipal Airport in Oklahoma, never been there. The pilot begins at a three degree descent, starting from the height of 2,714 feet above sea level. The airport is 1,000 feet above sea level. To the nearest tenth of a mile, how far from the runway is the plane? All right, so we gotta do a couple of math things here. Let's first of all create our triangle. So there should be a straight line here. That was horrible looking. Let's do that. That's okay. So if I come straight down, now we need to find a couple of things. I want to know how far is the plane from the airport. Okay, so to the nearest of the mile, how far from the runway is the airport at the start of this approach? Okay, so in fact, this would be the ground distance. Uh, we don't actually want that. We want how far it is away, so it's going to come down on that path right there. So x is actually going to be this piece right here. We need a number. Now they told us 2,714 feet above sea level, but the airport's already 1,000 feet above sea level. So um, I don't know, let's just say sea level is down here. And we are going to go ahead and say, all right, well, this is about 1,000 feet and seven feet, and then this from here to here is 27,014 feet. So what's this distance? So we can subtract this from there and we can get it. So we get 2714, and we can subtract 1,007, and we get 1,707. So we get 1,707 for this measure right here. Okay, so now we have actually a viable triangle. So I'm gonna actually rewrite this triangle. And again, it's not to scale, so we don't have to worry. So how far is it from the airport? It's 17,007 feet in the air, and it has three degrees as an angle of depression. Okay, so, the, sorry, I put the three in the wrong spot, didn't I? All right, so the angle, the three degrees is right here. Okay, so what would this be? Well, we can figure that out because from here to here, it's gonna be 90 degrees. So what we wanna do is we wanna just take three, subtract it from 90, and we get 87 degrees in here. Okay, so that's the degree measuring that. Those half that up to 90 because they make a perfect 90 right in here in our picture. So we get this as our angle of depression. So now let's put our googly eyes and see what we're gonna use. So we got Sokotoa. So opposite, nope, don't have opposite. What do we have? We have hypotenuse, and we have adjacent. Okay, so what uses A and H? Cosine. So we're gonna take the cosine of 87 degrees, not three degrees, equals adjacent 1,700 over hypotenuse x, okay? Algebraically, these are going to switch places to give us x equals 1707 
over cosine of 87. And we can go ahead and calculate that. And it's pretty far away, as you can probably imagine. Uh, X is going to equal 32,616 feet away. Okay, so that's how far it is away from it. Okay, so this is a pretty decent problem here. A lot of stuff going on. We're going to get a lot of practice with this. Again, we're going to get more practice with our sine, cosine, and tangent. Peace out. Live long. Okay, I just think I pressed this button right here. Is this the power button?